Thanks for your interest in serving your community as a storm spotter. This training should give you the basic information you need to be able to safely observe storms, to correctly identify key features, and to make high quality reports. Storm spotting during the day with good visibility and well-behaved storms can be dangerous, but dealing with severe storms at night introduces a whole new level of danger. Here's an image of what a tornado might look like at night. Can you see it? When it comes to observing storms at night, what you can't see can literally kill you. Storm spotting at night is exceptionally dangerous. It is much more difficult, sometimes impossible, to identify key cloud features at night. Darkness makes it nearly impossible to determine if a cloud feature is rotating. It's also much harder to estimate distances and to know how far away you are from the dangerous part of a storm. Only experienced storm spotters working in teams and with constant reliable radar support to keep them out of harm's way should ever try to observe severe storms after dark. Lightning can sometimes help you identify key cloud features at night, but only if the lightning flash is in the right place relative to your location. In this image, we're looking toward the north at a tornado-worn storm. We can see the storm and maybe make out the outline of something just to the left of the tallest tower on the right side of the image. A split second later, lightning flashes behind the cloud and gives us a much clearer picture of what that something is. Apparently a large tornado is going on. The problem with lightning is you never know where the flash is going to happen. If it flashes behind the object that you're looking at, it can make it easier to see. If it flashes between you and the cloud feature you're interested in, it might make it more difficult to see. If you're observing severe storms at night, here are some important tips. Remember that your safety is the number one priority. You must have a constant flow of up-to-date information, giving you specific details about the storm. Where is it? Which way is it moving? How fast? And what's it doing? You have to know at all times where you are in relation to the storm and how you can get to safety if necessary. Mobile spotters must have a safe viewing location, well off the road and safe from other motorists and other hazards. Using radar data and your knowledge about storm structure, try to focus in on the action area. For a supercell, this would be the updraft area. It will be nearly impossible to see rotation using lightning, so watch any suspicious cloud features to see how they change over time. Trends can be important indicators that a cloud feature is becoming more organized or more dangerous. For more details about spotter safety, check the Weather Spotters Field Guide at this address.